thrilled and delighted to have you all here. Um, the thought was through Chris Guinto uh, at Hunt, who's been the coordinator of all of this, uh, whether to do this out in the uh, in the gallery or do it into here. And she said, we've got it all set up. We have seats for everybody. I don't know about many of you. I have a bad back. So being able to sit down for part of this is good. We do have a, a short program. We do want to start off by expressing deep gratitude and appreciation to uh, Hunt's photo the Monotony Bird Club, the Mystic River Watershed Association, and I'm still waiting for Patrick Heron to uh, show up, but he'll probably be in uh, in a minute. Uh, of course, we have many of the award-winning photographers here with us, and we're thrilled to have them all here, and of course, our speakers uh, as well, so thank you all for coming. We have a very brief program. We're going to start off with uh, Marge Rines in just a moment, who is the founder of the Monotony Bird Club. She'll be followed by Paul Roberts, who, if you haven't had a chance to meet and talk with Paul, is not only a resident birding expert in the area, but a nationally recognized expert on hawks. And so Paul will be able to uh, help all of us understand this in, in kind of a broader context. And then Patrick Heron from the Mystic River Watershed Association uh, will also um, uh, join us and speak for a few minutes about the work that's going on to protect restore, protect, and maintain the entire watershed area, which serves roughly just over 20 communities. And the bald eagle is maybe as rich and as strong a, a, a symbol of the vitality uh, of the watershed and the improving habitat, both uh, in, in the water realm and in the land realm. So um, again, we thank uh, Hunts. They've done a, a really amazing job. Chris, we really appreciate all of your work, the online archives. So Marge Rines is the founder of the Monotony Bird Club, and she's been at the helm since the founding for, I don't know, maybe 20 years, she will tell you. She's the former bird sightings uh, editor for Bird Observer. She's the longstanding webmaster at massbird.org. Uh, she's the particularly warm and gentle and helpful voice at the other end of the Mass Audubon Wildlife Information Line, and she's also the former secretary of the Mass Avian Records, uh, Avian Record Committee uh, from 2000 till 2009. Will you join me in a warm welcome for Mark? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 